the heist is on heist legend here the heist is on the heist is on heist legend is here guys make sure you subscribe follow get all the notifications let you guys know when my next heist is I'm putting the crew together so we are talking about the history of the heist and to do that we got to start from the beginning not from the beginning but uh, from the old west the old west now movies glamorize the old west in pretty much every old west movie it was bank robberies bank robberies bank robberies when in actuality there wasn't a lot of bank robberies in the old west from the period of 1859 to turn of the century of 1900 there were far fewer bank robberies than there are in the modern era there are more bank robberies, way more bank robberies now than there were back then. And I know that I find that's really hard to believe. You're meaning like, how could that be? But there are a couple of reasons why that is the case. A couple of them is everyone had a gun. Everyone had a gun and it was always on them. So it was far riskier to go out trying to rob a bank. Also, a lot of these banks were small time, sort of micro sized banks in a town. And in a small town with everybody's money in it. So everybody wants to protect the bank. They had all had guns. They're making sure that their money isn't stolen. Also too, the escape route. The escape route for an Old West bank robbery, it was very, very limited. Through the front, through the back. And usually, it's blowing up the safe. So if you're doing that during the day, you're letting a lot of people know with guns, we're robbing a bank. So it mostly had to be done at night, you know, or it was robbing it with guns. But it was usually the escape route, the escape, the getaway was also risky. You're on horses. Everybody's on horses. It's not like this modern day where you can have, you know, different types of cars, different speeds of cars, different helicopters, you know, bus, subway, motorcycles, you know, disguises. It was very difficult. It was very plain, very simple. There was a horse to get away. And that was about it. That's as fast as you can go. One horse speed. And just like everybody else, they all had the same. One horse speed. And so if they're blowing up the bank, they're getting money, they're not able to take as much money as they would want because all that money is going on the horse, which is gonna slow the horse down. So, you gotta make sure you, that you got the fastest horse, the strongest horse, and you gotta make sure that you are ahead of everybody else. Because everyone's coming to get you. And then I realized the other thing, you have a horse, you're going out there, you could probably it's about 17, 20, 20 minutes at full speed that a horse can go before it starts to overheat and get tired. I know in the movies, you see all these horses running for miles and hours, but that's not the case. Horses aren't like that. They cannot run forever. They, they overheat, they get tired, and they gotta slow down, they gotta rest. So a good 17, 20 minutes, you know, around the area that you just robbed, 
you better make sure you have a good hiding spot or a good way to avoid everybody that the sheriff outlaw townsfolk but there were bank robbers and of course we know those bank robbers because there wasn't a lot of them but we glamorize those particular ones because they were a few of the ones that actually did it during this time during this period of bank robbery in the old west the wild wild west so this is the list that you guys all know these were the pioneers of the heist the western heist Jesse and Frank James of the James Gang bank robbers you might notice might know the notice the name James that uh, Brad Pitt played a movie in he played Jesse James they were Confederate soldiers and they were on they robbed stagecoaches and trains which you know a little bit more sophisticated on it but still same thing you can all get on a horse and you know is very limited Billy the Kid iconic iconic gunslinger but also bank robber he would he would rob establishments Butch Cassidy famous bank robber of the 1800s He was also with his partner, the Sundance Kid. So those are three, four, five of the top bank robbers during the Wild Wild West. It was a, it was a, a very you know, pioneer time to robbing banks. It was very new. I think banks were just first getting established, especially in the Wild West, as you know, these towns were just getting established, just building up some of these small towns. So the security and just running a bank wasn't up to par as they are now. But even now, banks are getting robbed more and more. The heist is on, guys. Time to go. Little night watch. Gonna go scouting out a location. Thank you, guys. Make sure you guys subscribe, follow, share, follow on social media. And get your gang together. Because the heist is on. The heist is on.